judicial autopsy findings, and I'm going to be brief, okay, reveal uh, significant traumatic injuries to the neck, okay, the soft tissue of the neck. These findings are consistent with compressional asphyxia, okay, um, and we're confident that at the end of our process that that is going to be the cause of death. Regarding manner of death, at this point, manner of death is homicide. Um, I want to take a minute to explain the forensic definition of homicide as opposed to, there's a legal definition as well. The forensic definition of homicide is death that's caused by the actions of another. And uh, that's the impression that we have at this point.
go around just continually murdering our children. In Jefferson Parish, that's what protesters say is exactly what happened to 22-year-old Keevan Robinson at the hands of police. NAACP will not stop until we get justice. Justice for Keevan! Justice for Keevan! Enough is enough! Monday night, hundreds of friends, family, and strangers took to the streets of Old Jefferson, fighting for justice after the coroner ruled Keevan's death a homicide. But they wouldn't fight. No, they wouldn't fight. I mean, they were in a narcotics you know, investigation. Uh, narcotics was found. I mean, but the, the reality of it is, is they were in a fight with this gentleman affecting the rest. There's no doubt about that. Today was a small victory. That didn't do. I knew he was dead when they brought him out that backyard. Last Thursday, narcotics detectives arrested Robinson near Labar Place as part of a drug sting. They say he led them on a chase, jumped out, and ran. He was caught and died in custody. You see, people might have judged Keevan, but Keevan is in the throes of glory. Because people don't understand God just the heart. You okay, Kiki? You okay, Kiki? The Robinson family, including Keevan's mother, suffering at the loss of her child. Kevin's grandmother asked the four detectives involved to remember their own families. They have kids. They have kids. I like police brutality. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. The Robinson family says they will not rest until justice is served and change is felt. Today, even though we're marching in honor of Kevin, we're also marching because we want a better environment for our kids. The full coroner's report and investigation are expected to take several weeks. professionalism and their transparency. The coroner's office did invite us um, over to their office prior to the press release and um, allowed us to answer. They answered any questions that we may have had at that time and we are grateful to them. Today is just as hard as Thursday for this family. They're grieving and today they had to find out that Keevan lost his life at the hands of another. And that's very, very hard for them. Now it's time for us to move on to make funeral arrangements for a 22 year old that should not have died. So we ask the public and everyone to pray with this family that they will be strong through this time and that justice will come for Keenan and this family. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anything that you all would like to say? Well, maybe NAACP, you want to speak? Please, Mr. Please. Once again, my name is Gaylor Spiller. I am the NAACP president for Jefferson Parish. However, as attorney Hester said, we are satisfied in court, especially with what revealed the autopsy. Right now, the NAACP joins the family and continue to give them support. Also, we are, they are seeking a second independent autopsy. At the same time, we're just going to support the family because this is seriously. And I like the fact that 
Sheriff Lapinto stepped up to the plate and he's doing his part. He knows that the NAACP will be on his trail. I find him to be a decent, honorable sheriff. He has not let me down yet, and I don't feel like he will let me down now. The NAAC support Jefferson Parish and all law enforcement. However, we do recognize and we realize that our, a lot of our young black African-American males and females are dying by the hands of some bad police officers, which makes it look bad on all police officers. But I want the public to know and the media to know that the NAACP is not behind criminal actions. We do not represent criminals. If you go out and you commit a crime, you do the time. But one thing we will not stand for is the killing of an individual. Because as a law enforcement officer, you have a job to do. We understand that there's a whole lot of criminal acts out here and it's committed by everybody who believes in committing crimes when they don't have to. I just need the public and the media to understand and to know because I was misquoted the other night. I support Jefferson Parish. I support the police officers. I support the community. We stand for equality and justice for all. We are not just for black folks. We are for every man, woman, and child on the face of this earth. And the public and the media need to understand, which I believe the media do. I'm not attacking the media, but I was misquoted. It was partially corrected, and I don't like it because I support the media I support the police officers, and I support the community. Whether you like it or not, I'm going to voice my opinion based on the evidence that is submitted. I don't jump too quickly to anything. My experience 30 years plus has been a paralegal, investigator, criminal, civil, personal injury cases, and the government, and being a military woman. I believe in winning, and I believe in being fair. So I want you all to please quote what I'm saying. Don't misquote me. I have yet to hear or read that I stood. Every time I come before you all, I always tell the community, do not go out there and commit a crime and come running to the NAACP. And I meant that, I stand behind that, I also stand behind the innocent. But this debt went too far, and it continues to go on. It has to stop. Questions? Yes, uh, to the attorney, um, ma'am, what's her name again? Hester Hilliard. Um, Ms. Hilliard, is there Come a time the frame? Yes, could you step to the mic? Sure. Can you tell us when uh, the family hopes to have this independent autopsy done? At this time, we do not, we cannot. Um, we will release that information once it is available. Based on what they told you, do you think the force used was excessive? Based on just what you know right now from the coroner and the sheriff? I'm not gonna comment on that at this time. I have a question. We spoke with a lot of the family members who were at the hospital and out on the bar place on Thursday, and a lot of people said, you know, this doesn't end here. We wanna see changes. We want things to happen because of this. So what specifically, to the family, what specifically are you all calling for to change in Jefferson Parish or even beyond because of Javon's death? We want the young you black step to the man not to be afraid. If you, if you right can step now, to the microphone. We Identify want the young yourself, black man not Cheryl Robinson. And you are. Even this is my grandson. 
We want the young black men to be able to walk the street. And when the police do frisk them, we want them to be able to stand and let the police do their job. But they're afraid of the police. They're killing our children. It's time to stop. Enough is enough. Ma'am, what's your reaction to the autopsy? Ah, ma'am, God had gave this to me already. It just had to be confirmed by the Lord. Amen. 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 And I would also like to say that the that there is a a march um, that's being planned, and the march is happening on today at 6:30 p.m. at the site where um, Keevan lost his life. Um, we invite. The public out we invite the media out but most of all what's important to this family is that there is safety in addition to unity so we want everyone to come out we want you to support the robinson family but we also want you to be safe and we want this event to reflect that we can stick together as a family and as a community and we can do it in the right manner